Liberator of South Africa. You know who I'm talking about. As long as they were, but back to Nigeria, two of the election, which is uh, the base of our distinguished. South Africa with all its own works. That heritage, heritage after the release of Mandela. ENC, as we all know, controlled the government by election, popular election. But South South. Ibo, Hausa, Fulani, Yoruba, Yoruba, then you get a bar out of Yoruba land, Ekiti, Ondo, Ijebu. You've divided this country into bits on the pendants uh, unity of Africa. Not just Nigeria, but South Africa was torn. Was this on the last Thursday, last week, watching the results of British election? And we had done this before using British procedure. In each constituency, or most constituencies, I saw them, we saw them, we, most of us saw them, sorting out the votes. After the voting had ended, and then the mayor coming out after about 12 midnight, to announce the results one by one. Sometimes the voters miss the election to either LCC, Lagos Town Council, City Council, or I think it was 62, 63 election. The electoral list was published city which included the Boye and Papa and Yaba and Surulere. Long story. You had to challenge the party's action group NCC. Had to challenge the electoral list. Those who lived as four parallel rules Surulere or did not live there. So you have the contest that those on the register were only three or four people of voting age. But two follow new road are America, in Germany, in France, and France had its own election only a week ago. But why is it different in Nigeria? Local government, INEC. State government, election, INEC. Everybody, INEC. I say this because most of folks who are here take part in activities of INEC. So why INEC? Why shouldn't APC have its uh, in-house selection of members or PDP or Labour Party? What was it? Why? Why? Well, the sum total, it seems to me, is that this system which we've adopted and which <laughs> only a deputed negotiator can give us a definition of what an area boy is.
There are elder statesmen. Uh, general election. You could see two weeks before that election, most of the opinion polls alluded to the fact that Labour was going to win 410 seats, and they got 412 just within the margin of error. So it's always, and Baba also alluded to the fact that he attended the, the only college, but and, and the rest of us attended schools. Thank God I attended the school, Elisha Grammar School. I think it, Baba is right. You know, it's always very painful, just like in, we are, uh, Baba mentioned the fact that he was the first person to be elected uh, to represent the, it's a secondary, well, not secondary school, college. I'm used to calling those schools and secondary schools since I attended the secondary school and not a college. Uh, you know, just like we are here, now maybe we are 150 or 200. Suppose we are asked to nominate two people to represent us somewhere. We voted for A and B, but somewhere along the line, they changed the result. So it can be very painful. I think it's also the same thing that uh, with our local government level, state or federal. If you contested an election and it was free and fair, you lost. And you count your losses and you, and you move on. But at times you find a situation in which a group is just only 10% of the community, but when they announce the result, it's the other way around. And like one of my friends will say that uh, in Nigeria, rigging is... And the increase in federal power are all contributed to this uh, centralization. Uh, the fifth chapter is on restructuring and federalism, and the author there, Abidemi Adegoke, argued that Nigeria adopted federalism to manage its diverse uh, religious, cultural, and ethnic groups, and the country became a parliamentary federal democracy with three regions, uh, with considerable revenue control for those regions and fiscal autonomy. However, the first years of independence were marked by struggles for, uh, for central power, accommodation of diverse interests, and politicization of the army. The article discusses uh, the need for restructuring in Nigeria, a country which uh, has a complex federal uh, system. Uh, the author also um, uh, goes beyond elections and voting and that its ability to produce good governance and democratic consolidation uh, depends on various factors including the character of uh, party in, in okay how many months? Well, so minutes. <laughs> and that's the essence of the review it is not to serve us everything it is just to whet our appetite Okay, so I'll move on to chapter 19. Uh, in chapter 19, the author, Lawrence Harana, examined Nigeria's foreign policy, highlighting its objective orientations, doctrines, and traditions, um, and argued that Nigeria's foreign policy aims to promote national interest, regional security, and global peace. And uh, to present this book, Themselves in the National Assembly, constituency allowance, whether it's uh, you are APC or ACO, King's College Old Boys Association. Mr. Lamboni, sir. Now to the countdown. Books of academics in politics in Nigeria, and we do it counting 10. One, two, 80. Counting 80. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75. 76, 77, 78, 79, 80. We made it, we made it possible for, for, for the commercialization of Lagos to be possible. So, um, this is bad.
I know, I know friends like Haki will come up and uh, I'll take you on the back. However, today uh, I congratulate my friend for the honor we come to him. It's, uh, it's almost usual for us to have these sorts of things. But he talks to the to science uh, myself. I've skimmed through the book and there is a lot of interesting dialogue and interesting um, conversation and theory, most especially with political history and even the latest situation with the government and democracy.